This video chapter is on the preparation and the use of emergency drugs during anesthetic, both for spinal anesthesia and for general anesthesia. There are four emergency drugs that we routinely draw up for every anesthetic. The first drug is succimethonium. This is a rapid acting and depolarizing muscle relaxant. It is kept in the fridge and it comes in a brown ampule that contains 100 milligrams and 2 moles. We draw it up into a 2 mole syringe and as you can see we clearly label with these black lines that this is the sux. Succimethonium is one of the drugs that's commonly associated with drug errors. And that's why we recommend that it is the only drug that you store in a 2 mole syringe and that you label that syringe very clearly. The black lines here are to warn us that this syringe contains sucks. It is undiluted in the syringe and it contains 50 milligrams per mole. The dose for intubation is 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. The second drug that we routinely draw up is ephedrine. Ephedrine is a vasoconstrictor. It's a positive inotrope and a positive chronotrope. This means that it makes the heart contract more quickly, more forcefully, and it also squeezes the arteries in the veins to raise the blood pressure. This drug also comes in a brown ampule, but it is not stored in the fridge. It contains 50 milligrams per mole. We dilute these 50 milligrams into a 10 mole syringe with 9 moles of normal saline. The concentration of the drug in the syringe is then 5 milligrams per mole. In an adult patient, one can safely give 5 to 10 milligrams to treat hypotension. This is 1 to 2 moles out of the 10 mole solution. In an emergency situation, ephedrine is used to raise the blood pressure. For instance, after a spinal anesthetic or after induction of a general anesthetic, when hypotension is detected. The third drug that we routinely draw up um, as an emergency drug for anesthesia is atropine. Atropine comes in a 1 mole solution and it contains 0.5 milligrams per mole. It can either come in a glass ampule or in a plastic ampule and it is not stored in the refrigerator. Bradycardias are very common in anesthesia. A number of the drugs that we give slow the heart rate. Bradycardia can also be a common complication of spinal anesthesia. It is essential that you are familiar with the management of bradycardia. To treat bradycardia, one can give a dose of atropine of 10 micrograms per kilogram intravenously. For a 70 kilogram person, this would mean 0.7 milligrams. Although the atropine can be drawn up in a 2 mole syringe, we recommend that you draw it up in a 5 mole syringe and that the only drug you draw up in a 2 mole syringe is your succinethonium. When you draw up your atropine in the 5 mole syringe, you can leave it neat in the 5 mole syringe, or you can dilute it with 4 moles of normal saline. If you dilute it, the concentration in the syringe will be 0.1 milligram per mole. Just remember that in a normal adult who weighs 70 kilograms, you will need to give the whole amp of atropine to treat a bradycardia. The fourth drug that we routinely draw up for all anesthetics is phenylephrine. Phenylephrine comes in a glass ampule. It contains 10 milligrams and one mole. Phenylephrine is an alpha-1 agonist. This means that it causes profound vasoconstriction. It doesn't affect the heart at all. It doesn't increase the heart rate and it doesn't increase the force with which the heart contracts. It only acts on the vessels. It is essential that you dilute phenylephrine appropriately. You can either dilute it to a 50 microgram per mole solution or a 100 microgram per mole solution. The phenylephrine needs to be kept in the refrigerator. To achieve a 50 microgram per mole solution, you can dilute the 10 milligram ampule in a 200 ml bag of normal saline. This bag can be used for the whole of your theatre complex. You don't need to have one bag per theatre. But you must remember to draw up a new bag every 24 hours. I must stress how important it is that the phenylephrine is diluted appropriately. Phenylephrine is used to treat hypotension. The dose that you would give to a normal adult patient 
is a 50 microgram bolus or a 100 microgram bolus. It is important to remember that phenylephrine often causes a reflex bradycardia. And so if your patient is hypotensive and has a slow heart rate, it would be better to use ephedrine to treat the hypotension. Phenylephrine can safely be used in patients that are hypotensive and tachycardic. Phenylephrine can also be used to treat hypotension following spinal anesthesia for caesarean section. And that's all for now.